so today we will be discussing about mpa 11 mpa 11 and uh, what is that that is ma public administration course code 011 and uh, today subject is uh, state society and public administration state society and public administration see there is a difference between personal administration and the public administration okay public administration for the public you know like government <laughs> central government state government local self government everything you know what uh, welfare activity what were uh, you know uh, administration uh, kerala government or india government or panchayat raj system what they are doing this type of things are that is public administration okay and uh, now personal administration of course definitely it is uh, your uh, organization where you are working and the Uh, how, uh, how you are doing the administration, but in the company, in a company, when you are doing the administration according to company's rules and regulation, you have to administer. <coughs> but in government, government has got uh, government policies also. But in uh, uh, what are the general things? You know, when we are doing the public administration, what are the things we have to keep in mind? How to look out for the welfare of workers? and how can we make workers more happy because a happy worker can produce better without any tension without any harassment how we can deploy people how we can get to the maximum output from them that the public administration okay don't think that we, uh, you know we are having enough qualification so no problem at all i can handle no a public administration mean how you are the leadership uh, lead, leadership quality should be there that problem solving ability should be there interpersonal skill should be there communication skill should be there industry relation every uh, how knowledge is required actually that is in practical you know you have to do not only theoretical okay so that what i am telling uh, they say uh, public administration is not an easy thing to do we have to satisfy the worker we have to satisfy the employer as well we are in between a personal manager is in between let me start uh, let me start okay state uh, society and public administration uh, we are going to take and uh, uh, state society and public administration i am going to take now so here the state is not uh, kerala state or tamil nadu state it is a country it is a country okay so what i am telling uh, throughout the world uh, you know a lot of countries are there under more than 100 196 uh, whatever is there is a country sir each country has got a, some 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 specialities area wise or administration wise or sometimes king sometimes democracy auto uh, sometimes bureaucrat approach sometimes religious sometimes you know uh, you know like a king you know british king okay like that many types of administrations are there around the world they yeah, don't think that state is a particular state like kerala or tamil nadu or something how the administration so initially it is a theoretical theoretical as what we are going to discuss today okay uh, each country now you know once upon a time england uh, sorry usa was also under british colony about india also you know what really happened earlier okay so each country has got its own past you know some problem some issue something uh, always it is there okay and uh, some people are having written constitution some people are having unwritten some state, uh, countries are having unwritten constitution britain uk is having unwritten constitution india is having written constitution same way you know a country like uh, iran has you know it is uh, they are having their own and uh, uh, like the military rules are there you now myanmar some other country military rules are there and they are supreme and uh, president of america you know that it is democratic country of course most powerful person uh, one of the most powerful person uh, on earth that is how like the different different country now uh, italy many other country you see england uh, british uh, queen is there or 
king is the, they are uh, having that is the nominal head actually here in india nominal head is our president of india real executive real head is prime minister of india okay that is the thing which we want to communicate each country pakistan you know how it is functioning china you know communist country how it is functioning russia you know how it is functioning south north korea how it is functioning and uh, japan there is you know uh, emperor prime minister also emperor is also there so each country has got speciality so we are just a uh, state is a difficult concept to define because all states are not same you know sri lanka is different india is different and some other country is different pakistan is controlled by india uh, or pakistan army and uh, iran is uh, religious way it is functioning sometime and burma yes army like that each country and uh, bhutan you know delhi you know where many many other countries are you can see anywhere in the world you know uh, but india one of the most democratic country in the world and beautiful way we are electing the people and uh, we have got a dynamic prime minister everybody very very past history is also super india and one of the all countries are watching uh, india's progress how we are conducting such a vast country and having a lot of population like india is the second largest population in the world how we are conducting the exa- uh, sorry this um, uh, elections and democratically how systematically we are conducting the election parliament election assembly election presidential election prime minister election vice president election and uh, state assembly selection panchayat raj system selection there are three types okay uh, government actually send state and local self government how we are conducting and it is an eye opener to the world how india is functioning okay having more than 20 28 states and uh, nine union territories and more than 22 official languages uh, so many languages are there and Uh, without any alphabet also nearly 2000 languages are there uh, okay so the some languages there is no alphabet even but we are having the diversity of india is really really marvelous actually but india is one though we are having 28 or 29 whatever states or nine union territory whatever is there and different religions and different caste and uh, you know uh, more than near important seven religion and uh, uh, you know 22 official languages 22 official language as per the constitution of india everything like that like that but only one constitution is the applicable which is applicable to the end citizen in the country previously you uh, jk jnk was having you know some relaxation in the constitution but that also taken away okay now one constitution one india we are all one that is the special and one passport one passport no need to take a two passport for from going to kerala to bombay but in america it is not like that one country one place place to other place sometimes passport in some other countries also passport is required but india only one one constitution okay and you know another thing which i want to tell you though we are having 22 languages and uh, official language i am telling there are many languages caste religion everything is there but 22 official languages but uh, the most commonly spoken than english is uh, sorry english of course we are using the uh, hindi okay that is more uh, maximum people they are speaking hindi and uh, in northern india also and uh, yeah, when we got uh, independent there was a rule in the constitution that uh, Uh, english will be used uh, for 15 years and afterwards vernacular language we will convert but i am sorry to say that even after 70 years also still we are using english now as we english only because we could not change uh, in iits uh, medicine engineering everything uh, higher education everything english is used the reason being english is a uh, commonly used language all over the world okay and one of the one advantage which we are having since we can speak english fluently 
it is advantageous for us when you go abroad, uh, especially American countries or some other countries, they are welcome to accept our people in ITs and other things because we know English very well. But they are hesitating to take the people from some other country. Chinese, they speak only in Chinese. And Russian people, Russian, uh, Russian president will speak uh, when he comes to India, he'll speak only in Russian language. Okay. But we, we are, we can speak English fluently and uh, that is the one advantage which we are having. So English is a common language. But maximum, that vernacular language, Hindi is the maximum people, they are speaking Hindi. Uh, but we cannot make it compulsory for each and any, you know, uh, South Indian people should also, not compulsory, but it is good. Because when you are go going outside for getting in search of a job, either in Bihar or in UP or in Punjab or Haryana, it will be beneficial for you. So that, you know, the, at least you can communicate properly. Either English, some, there are some places where you cannot, uh, people cannot understand English. Sometimes we, people cannot Hindi. So you can interchange the language. That is the one advantage which we are having. So, uh, state is a difficult uh, concept of, uh, to define. It has had a checkered ev evaluation that state is having past history. Each state in country, please. The different perspectives of the state bring out the need, relevance and constraints. Each country, after they got a freedom, after a great struggle, you know what India, India, in every country, it is like that. The neoliberal perspective, I will tell you what is neoliberal, afterwards I will tell you. In particular, talks of rolling back the state and letting the markets take over. What is neoliberal, neoliberal policy? I will just tell you what is that. Neoliberal policy means... Perspective, neoliberal perspective means neoliberalism is contemporary use to refer to market-oriented reform policies. Market-oriented reform. See, when we produce something, it should be sold. If there is no uh, customer, then why you are producing? So we have to sell it in the open market, especially nowadays. Global scenario is like that because of globalization, liberalization, everything. There is WTO. So what happened? What our production we are have, uh, making that we have to sell it in the market. That is neoliberal. Liberally, we have to sell it. And uh, that is market-oriented policy. And uh, not only that, when there is a demand, then only we will produce. And uh, eliminating price control. See, pre previously a monopoly was there in uh, uh, each and every item. Now it has gone, eliminating prices. Previously, I will tell you one example. He, uh, Bata shoe, Bata shoe, 9,999, otherwise 999.99 Bata shoe. Like that, you know, 999.99. Now that type of monopoly has, monopoly has gone and anybody can come in the market. Anybody can capture the market. Let me tell you how the state has improved and our market has reduced. Once upon a time, uh, you know, when I was in Bombay, suppose uh, for purchasing a scooter, 20 years booking was there, Bajaj scooter. 20 years, Bajaj scooter. 20 years booking. And there was only one car that was ambassador car and a premier car, okay? That is premier automobiles limited Bombay, okay? Ambassador car, now see the position. Within a minute, you can purchase car and scooter. It will come to you. Online, you can order. It will come to your house, everything, okay? That is the market nowadays, how it is changing. The, because of globalization, liberalization, everything, world has give, uh, come, then, you know, in your hand. Previously, if you want to make a telephone call, when I was in Chandigarh, Delhi, all these places, and when he, I had to make a trangal, three days we had to wait in the waiting list. That is, Mahanagar telephone, whatever is there. And now, within one minute, you can contact USA, New Zealand, UK, wherever it is. Within one minute, the world has become very, very, very small because of the technological or telecommunication revolution. When 
it is changes are taking place the market uh, you know it is also you know uh, demand is also fluctuating the most important thing which you have to keep in mind is that the quality product you have to produce and not only that when you sell it in the world market always the reputation of the country has to be maintained other way it will be a bad reputation for the country when you are exporting anything quality items only you can uh, this thing other way it will become a bad image for the country not for you okay so uh, when we are uh, when we are a state when we are interacting with the foreign countries we should be very careful uh, while producing or um, quality maintenance or whatever is there or keeping international standard or you know workmanship and knowledge wise and uh, knowledge management also everything you have to keep in mind so neo liberal perspective neo liberalism is a contemporary youth uh, to refer to market oriented reform policy such as eliminating price control deregulating capital market deregulating that is you know centralized decentralization okay now what happened uh, lowering trade barriers previously there was uh, you know if you want to export anything export license should be taken if you want to import anything you uh, again license is to be taken now that type of barrier they taken away anywhere in the world you can export w on to uh, membership should be there and you can import anything subject to government approval or whatever is there you can do anything you need so now medicine you see everything we are importing uh, there is no hurdle in between see each country depend upon some other country each country is not having everything you know okay we are not having uh, what, you know sometimes in america whatever they are having sometimes we are not having but whatever we are having coffee or something else in china <laughs> other country is not having so in their co this cooperation from one country to another country essential that is the reason why we have formed uh, the united nations organization after second world war at in 1945 that is disastrous uh, this thing of the second world war we have seen in uh, nagasaki hiroshima everything and lot of people when they died he found that we decided the whole country the whole world decided not to have any more world war uh, that is you know after second world war and then we just uh, with the uh, you know initiative taken by nehru roosevelt and uh, nasser of egypt and winston churchill of um, uh, uk prime minister everything you know there so many other people uh, president america roosevelt everybody was you know took initiative for making united nations organization that of course outer world it is i don't want to elaborate and more than 193 or 96 countries are member in uno uno has got many subsidiaries many many subsidiaries like ilo who unicef imf like that like the international atomic i don't want to tell many 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 subsidiaries are there all helping the whole world uh, whenever you know the eradication of poverty providing education and providing financial help natural calamity you know so many things you know they are all helping the whole nation whenever need arises okay so neo liberal policy is market oriented policy now here state is a complex concept for your information again i am repeating state is not a particular small our kerala or some other state it is a country okay so state is a complex concept uh, now state is here i told you president of india is a nominal head of uh, the our country british queen is the head of britain and the chinese president is the head of china same way pakistan pakistan is very peculiar in this thing prime minister is the president is the but president is powerless okay and prime minister is, uh, uh, you know controlled by army okay but each country uh, president of america is uh, he has got a uh, We are really a powerful person actually like that many other countries are also there okay now uh, so why i am telling variety of uh, you know you can, you can see 
if you compare from one country to another country uh, you know it differs you know how they are doing administration that is the thing which i want to tell you i just want to tell you the man who is sitting in the chair who are it is it makes lot of difference okay whether it is prime minister whether it is president whether it is maharaja or something else the president who are sitting or prime minister who are sitting the dynamism should be the statesmanship should be the the country can make progress if he is having disastrous mentality that type of company or, or country cannot progress the same philosophy is applicable to corporate also when an eminent personality city occupying a ceo he will become narayana murthy or ratan tata or mukesh ambani or somebody else and you know uh, that is a dynamism of the person actually okay but uh, i am not telling that uh, mukesh ambani is dynamism but definitely definitely he is one of the richest person in the world and the richest person in india and the richest person in uh, asia but uh, as regard professionalism is concerned narayana murthy or infosys and uh, tata ratan tata who did a lot of uh, you know uh, thing for the country for the country country you cannot i don't want to elaborate uh, things actually no industry has done now of course vipra chairman has done a lot of charity this thing 7000 crores or something but tata is something else okay I, i don't want if you want i can elaborate the thing the institution which you are seeing at present see you can read the book but the information which i am giving that you can update and you will increase your knowledge you can over that views on various aspects it will be changed is a public administration many questions will be asked and if any civil service aspirants are there it will be beneficial for them see the tata group had done enormous contribution to the nation growth okay no other uh, group has done this much the first pilot commercial pilot was yarli tata karachi to bombay he brought the plane you know he was the pilot and after he started air india industries started tisco telco all you know everything you know uh, uh, you know suji mudal plane vare avare tata company ana nanyada even atomic power station tata atomic baba atomic research and sorry tata memorial sorry tata institute of fundamental research i was working there in 1976 that was the first that is father figure of nuclear power and um, nuclear center for mathematics that was the first scientific establishment in the country was established by tata first cancer hospital was established by tata tata memorial hospital like that many management it is tata institute of social science in number one deemed university who is which is providing mfw and you know 100% uh, campus into is there like the education sector energy tata bombay full electric supply is undertaken by tata electric and locomotive steel from 1920 onward till today there was not even a single strike in tisco jamshedpur 175 percent 75000 people are working and they are making enormous profit whereas indian steel companies are ingari huge law tata no you see tisco uh, tc is about the tc i'll tell you 1976 when i was working in bombay eighth floor air india building headquarters of air india my office was eighth floor just near to that only tcs at that time the formation only three people were there only three people were there tcs formation just they were sitting near to me i was in another government uh, this thing with that three people uh, three people now it has become 3 lakh 50000 or 4 lakh or 5 lakh workers uh, oh sorry sorry technocrats and uh, it has become number one uh, in uh, it sector that is the professionalism which they are having i had an opportunity why i am telling all this thing what is professionalism why i had an opportunity to work under tata 
data i have worked actually and uh, working with the data is entirely different you know the culture their uh, you know terms and conditions like a foreign company you have to work in a discipline everything loyalty dedication everything that is the thing that is also a public administrator should know this type of thing that is they were having dynamic leaders actually this type of company they were having with dynamic leaders and the company started flourishing whether it is hotel business whether it is car manufacturing whether it is something else all tata group now 105 companies are there more than 105 companies are there under tata 95% companies are making profit okay more than that we will not uh, uh, the like that. so they have got lot of reputation recently i have seen that uh, more than 1400 crores or something like that the uh, ratan data who uh, donated to prime minister or something like that charity or something like that so so what i want to tell you that the man who is sitting in the chair the he should have the dynamism and the leadership quality automatically that quality will flow down level as well that is personal administration okay a man who is sitting on the top you know who are sitting people are watching if he is lazy you will also be lazy if he is a very good disciplined person and automatically uh, you know uh, you have to do accordingly i had a, had got a lot of opportunity to work under dynamic people and even abdul kala okay the mgk menon professor i don't know whether you are knowing professor mgk menon and uh, dr abdul kalam and i was working in drdo like so i was uh, hod only and uh, many many dynamic people i had an opportunity to work with uh, so many personality senior scientists and so many other people and uh, distinguished scientists uh, outstanding scientists many other people i am so i learned a lesson because because they are reservoir of knowledge so always gain knowledge so that we can you know become professionally uh, really competent okay so what is the advantage whenever we go some outside for an interview or something like that if somebody is asking any question it is not you should not say that i don't know anything you will you try to what whatever field you know whichever field you are having try to uh, get more and more knowledge the relevant knowledge up to date knowledge then only you can become a public administrator okay don't bother about others what others are doing be honest dynamism should be there okay dynamism should be there okay be honest wherever you are working and don't don't look at the other as what the others are doing see uh, be honest in your profession and very very sincere way Uh, you have to do wherever you are you should show loyalty towards an uh, uh, organization dedication to uh, towards that organization professional skill interpersonal skill a pleasing personality personal pleasing personality or behavior i am telling attitude positive attitude everything should have we should have and uh, you know you when you, you have to respect the juniors and take you should not take credit credit which you are getting is kindly give to others you know so that they will be happy they because my uh, boss is uh, you know when you get credit give the credit to down uh, our your subordinate they will be more happy that is the thing actually because they are the real backbone of a company so you are only just supervising them or giving guidance okay ultimately they are producing so we will make, we should make them happy that is public we have to make very good service rules uh you know india is having our constitution you know our state government is having various service rules and the company is having its own personal policy a company should have today i'll be discussing something general only otherwise i will uh, increase our uh, this thing speed and go to classes and other thing see what happen when we uh, here what am this, this thing the policies a personal manager or public administrator should be able to uh, suppose if you are working as a personal manager in a company you have to do service rules you have to formulate administrative rules you have to formulate safety rules you have to formulate establishment rules you have to uh, formulate 
recruitment rules you have to formulate you should have the capacity nothing to worry don't worry everything automatically you will be able to do that for that competency uh, you know you have to read 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 something you know always you know uh, reading newspaper is very essential updating the knowledge is very essential reading newspaper means not reading politics editorial page you are not getting going to get any benefit out of reading the politics that the politics we ultimate our objective is to become a professional to get good job to occupy higher positions if you want to become a politician no this type of qualification is not required okay other qualifications are required okay so what i am telling impartial way we to do the job our india our kerala or whichever state we are working we should work say i was when i was doing recruitment in central government more than 7000 7500 people i recruited more than 39 years or something in central government i never used to see whether he is coming from kerala or some other state from arunachal pradesh whether it is from kerala whether it is from andaman nicobar for me all are equal merit wise only we used to recruit there was not a single incident in my gender career of more than 30 years of recruitment in the center government one not even a single case the single case that you know we had done illegal way the recruitment okay recruitment all on merit basis the minutes will be prepared within that you know the cabin only by the committee member will put signature out of it will go to chairman chairman will approve next day i will issue the appointment letter that merit number 1 suppose if two three merit people are there one two three and panel also will keep if somebody is not joining then next you will take a, that man person who is in the panel it is like that i was having why i am telling all this personal administration you have to keep in mind and what i am talking that uh, when i was doing recruitment in uh, punjab our uh, chief minister gani zeb who became the president of india he was the chief minister he gave free land for our uh, you know for setting up that uh, isro laboratory in uh, uh, the okay free land free water supply electricity everything free okay Okay, a valid uh, tax exemption, uh, exemption for five years, everything. He recommended. At that time, he was chief minister of Punjab, and then he became home minister under Indira Gandhi. Then again, he became president of India. He forwarded a, a recommendation letter. I am sending so and so person. I am coming. From, uh, he is from my parliamentary constituency. Constituency, please take it. I just put that in the. active file only never considered then i got uh, buta singh again home minister again he was also nearby goan parliamentary constituency he used to send a recommendation letter please take i didn't take you know what is the problem this is for your information they may recommend they are politician they will escape you will sue i will tell you our after vigilance inquiry will be there right information uh no right information then what happen after retirement your payment will be withheld when charge sheet is there so at that time this politician will not be there and don't work under pressure at all don't work but never i face any pressure during my entire career and when i took vr whole heartedly and with great satisfaction i just uh, came out of this government of india this day because i have not done any injustice ka one why i am telling this most relevant to kerala navities okay now why i am telling if you do any injustice that is public administration i am talking if you do injustice to one person okay then i am suppose if you take your own one person or you know some influencer person or something like that you are doing great injustice to other is actually you are doing great injustice because they are on the uh, this thing and uh, you are not allowing uh, g- g- your, his opportunity will lose forever and he will not be able to apply at a later stage so 
when you are doing the public administration kindly keep in mind now you will say one more thing with that i will just conclude and i will uh, go to the class uh, this thing here in bureaucrats you can see they they to work uh, as per the uh, decision of the uh, what is that ministers who are the real head of a department you know i, I know that uh, you know they are all working under but you should not forget you know one thing there are some ias officers who never used to approve also then we, they will ask minister to approve they will not sign over even that is also the, there are uh, many many ias officers i don't want to tell the name even they will not sign if it is something illegal they will not sign i, I don't want to uh, if you want i can tell you the name also there are sincere very 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 honest persons also and uh, why we are giving this metro man who recently joined the bjp or something like that yeah. great respect forget about it. such a dynamic person very very honest person timely completion of the project and nearly 40 phd i think honorary phd he has got very dynamic person that type of statement should be there and when you are working in political interference will be there but if you are pakka you will be pakka for forever there is no problem at all nobody can misguide you okay that for that professional competency should be there i didn't face any problem in the central government the end of my career nobody approached me nobody came to my house with a recommendation though i was having kerala samaj my yep samaj president like no person came to my residence with any recommendation no came but he came to my office also with any recommendation for malayali or they know that i will not do because if i do it will be injustice because yes central government organization is entire people in the country is equally responsible equally eligible to apply in that particular organization so i should not take away anybody's opportunity so administrator should know this type of thing so state is a complex i told you uh, this is only general i am just telling you because why i am telling you are some somebody is very younger generation you should know money is not everything money is required for survival but you should not survive for money food is required but you should not live only for eating okay money is required for each and everything but you should not live for money food is required for our survival but you should not survive for only for eating money uncertainty provides okay so little money is sufficient for your survival whatever is required you through salary everything in honest way to do that you will not be other way you let to spend the money in super speciality hospital or something else or some other disease or whatever is there if you are taking money from others and other thing nobody will give money to you with a great satisfaction always they will curse you when you give some bribe or something they will not be happy okay so why should you go for the thing the government of india or kerala state they are giving money salary everything you leave try to leave out of this and uh, you know that is the thing which i want to tell you now state uh, sometime uh, sometime raja kumar and adhe uh, mari political system is there so many state election are conducted and uh, so here uh, major thing there is marxist ruled the uh, state sir the country country that is you know russia and um, uh, china okay north korea okay like that uh, marxist uh, countries are also there okay many many you know different types of country we are telling religious, religious way also now you can see that you know iran again religious country okay head is also religion and uh, you know defining state state has been considered as the problematic institution i told you state is a problem each country if you take afghanistan take uh, uk take uh, palestine take israel take russia take usa we all <laughs> there are problem don't think that you know what really happened recently in U- usa presidential election so every state now india is also having pension for no strike that is trying everything is there but we are having a stable we are a stable country and our prime minister real leader is also there because with the vast majority 
uncertainty is not there in india because uh, because you know uh, majority that is you know the ruling party has got great majority so that country can he, they can rule the country there is no anarchy or whatever is there so that is a speciality of our country and take the example of pakistan take the example of afghanistan take the example of bharati take the example of iraq take you know how the countries are functioning i don't want to elaborate the things actually oh, what is take the example of uh, you know burma uh, myanmar and uh, take the example of north korea you cannot utter, open your mouth even they will you will be killed that is the thing you know he killed his own uncle uh, from the stage itself he just you know that type of thing. so countries are like this some countries are but our country is very beautiful and uh, after you know 70 years also Uh, that parliamentary tradition, that democratic tradition, we are just ruling, and we have got a wonderful constitution formatted by the father of the, uh, you know, constitution that is Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. We are all following that is the constitution, but a lot of amendments have taken place because that is based on uh, requirement of the people. You cannot change uh, that uh, uh, what is uh, already mentioned in the constitution. You have no right to change. within that clause you can make amendments socialist sovereign soviet so mm-hmm. uh, sovereign uh, the secular country all these thing you cannot change preamble of the constitution cannot be changed okay like that within that you know suppose what up 18 years old 18 years old yeah suppose what up previously it was 21 years now they change into 18 within that you can make uh, amendments you can make it but the uh, basic structure of the constitution cannot be changed and constitution changes it is a horrible task in india two third majority is required in the lok sabha rajya sabha then only you can amend any constitution subject to approval of the president of india okay so our constitution is rigid but our constitution is flexible also and because for good things we have many times amended the constitution many times you know uh, amended the constitution for the welfare of the people okay now this is the thing now uh, as per the now here i just want to tell you about the state many thinkers and philosophers have uh, said many things about the uh, state jordan jessop that you can see the book actually wherever something is written that there i will talk other thing just read it. nothing is there to everybody has expressed their views jessop polutens nosik christopher w morris max weber david held and uh, harbor mass gamble subdeepa kave kaviraj john dun nils carlson pra f a hake huge t miller karl marx fred riggs professor samulson and waldemir lenin lenin of ussr previously needed so many people have given how to make how the country is there like that they have given comments in this book okay now in the words of christopher w morris christopher w morris he said that state is a set of political organ each state is a set of one gentleman is telling christopher w more that is a state is a political organization whose institution endure over time then transcendent that is supernatural state institution do not constitute it they are its agents another is political organization this is actually christopher w morris opinion everybody has given their own opinion what is state political organization these are institution through which the state acts okay see one uh, here uh, political organization here center is the state is the and uh, then uh, panchayat uh, local self government is there so they are the political setback uh, setup in india okay so ultimately these are the institution through which we are administering central government is before your kind information center is government is having 
power to legislate on 96 subjects state government is having the power to legislate 66 and center and state both jointly can make uh, what is that you know laws on 46 or 47 that is called concurrent list there is union list there is state list there is concurrent list union list means railway airport uh, army navy air force center active income tax uh, the external affairs yeah, reserve bank of india everything is coming under central government they, they can only make rules in those list okay there is state list state list state government can make a legislation through legislative assembly what are those one is irrigation food supply distribution tds public distribution system and jail okay same way agriculture everything is coming under state list then another important that is 66 number another central government is 96 and now it is coming 47 concurrent list means both central government and state government they can jointly make the rules what are those one is environment in the state water dispute kaveri water kaveri water four state is having the claim that is starting from karnataka pondicherry kerala Tamil Nadu is having the uh, you know power to get the water from Kaveri water. So, yeah, four states are involved. One state cannot make any law. So, so jointly, central government with these concerned states will make a legislation. Take the example of Ganga River. Ganga, you see, UP, Bihar, West Bengal, everything you know it is flowing. So, one state cannot make rules. The same way, environment, environment, central government has to make rules. Education is state subject, but Education, IAM, IIT, it is central, central uh, government, central open university, center. So it is also located in Kerala and many other areas. So in education also, health also, everything you know, central government with uh, uh, cooperation or state government is also running certain things. Now health sector also. Now health sector government is giving a lot of central government is also health is actually main this thing state has to do, but central government. All in the Institute of Medical Science and the same way setting up many, many, you know, our uh, cancer research center, Trivandrum, all these things, they are giving a lot of grant. So, for improving the health, improving the standard of education, central government, state government work together and uh, ultimately, so we should, uh, uh, you know, build up a healthy citizen and a knowledgeable person. So, both the government is doing extraordinary work. Now, which I want to communicate one thing more, that uh, one more thing which I want to tell you, you see, a matter which is not covered under either the central list or state list, who will take the decision? A matter which is not covered either in the central list or in the state list, or in the concurrent list, who will take the decision? Center government. Okay? Center government is having the residuary power. Hello, sir. That is, which is not mentioned ah. either in the constitution, whatever is the Center government is ultimately, they can take the decision. So, sovereign, that is sovereign country, you know, in the world over, actually, you know, in 16th century, uh, you know, in the Europe, a lot of problem was there. And, uh, you know, some countries were struggling to survive, struggling to survive. And some countries, of course, sovereignty, sovereignty means independence. Sovereignty, India is an independent country. Sovereign, but some countries are not independent. Okay, you take the example of Tibet. Okay, some other countries, they are not dependent because they, they are, you know, either controlled by some other people or some other country and like that, you know, many small, small countries, you know, they, they are not having any sovereignty. Okay even Nepal, uh, Bhutan, everything foreign uh, affairs are looked after by India. Okay. Now, in terms of popular sovereignty, the state has conceived a creation of pre-existent people either as a usual pro uh, property as its expression. The state was not confined to administrating traditional law. See, each country has got its own laws. Laws are not common. India's laws are different. India's laws 
are formulated by Indian Parliament. Okay, by various act. Okay, same way each country is having its own rules and regulation. Okay, laws are different. Okay, but they will see there, you know, how the administration is doing. Even kingdom, the whatever king is telling, that is the law. There, you know, there is no constitution or whatever is there. Whatever they say not to do, you should not do. To do, yes, you have to do. Like that, you know, but India is not like that. Okay, so the state was not confined in administrative traditional law. And this is only, you know, just a, a foreign countries that they were talking about that, how it was functioning, all this thing. Now, the growth of the state points in the Western democratic, the state has become bigger and bigger, both in relative and absolute. Gradually, what happened, no? Uh, countries, the territorial this thing, it has, uh, you know, we become more, some countries. But in USSR, previously, Union of Soviet Socialist Republic, you know, it was bifurcated and now it has become Russia. Some countries, the area is expanding. Some countries, of course, decreasing also because of the bifurcation. You can see in the the states in India. Previously, Andhra Pradesh was one. Now it is Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. Uttar Pradesh was one. It is bifurcated to two. So, always the uh, geographical or whatever the, the structure of the state is also sometimes changing. The countries also, it is like that only. Okay. Typically, the, these are the theoretical things only. So I had nothing to contribute much here. Now, here, uh, Sayandi Nira, okay, they believed that politics should comply with the norms of an objective, value, free and accurate science. Some politics means every country is having their own politics. But it should be objective, value, free and accurate science also. But, uh, you see, each country is having their own uh, you know, policies and other things, okay? America is having their policy. We are having our own policy. But here, yeah, one thing which I want to tell you that Indian constitution was when we for, uh, set up before independence, we draft a committee of formulating the Indian constitution. So, like, uh, you know, chairman was Dr. Ambedkar, Pandit Jawaharlal like that. Many other people were also there. Our uh, constitution was taken from other countries also. Good things we had taken from other countries, like UK, like USSR. Sorry, uh, USSR means Russia. Now, from Germany from Canada, USA already told you, then uh, Ireland and uh, Austria, Australia. So like that, you know, some good, 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 uh, you know, uh, super, uh, the, what is that, um, um, Supreme Commander of Armed Forces, nominal head, real executive, parliamentary, federal, welfare state, uh, like that, you know, we had taken from good thing from various constitution in the world. Ultimately, we formulated this constitution in India, which is supreme, which is a Bible or Gita for us. We cannot violate. And minister, prime minister, president, everybody take oath by touching that only, by quoting that only, we have to function. And not only that, we have got an apex court called the Supreme Court of India. And they are the, they have to uh, see that the uh, constitution Whatever is mentioned in the constitution in total is uh, complied with or not. We cannot violate any of the provisions actually. And Supreme Court, I quote everybody that uh, these courts actually, they are taking care of all constitutional aspect actually. Whenever people are having, they, we are going to them and they are taking the decision. They are the final authority. Apex Court is Supreme Court that is Delhi. Okay. Liberal perspective. Different thinkers have described the evolution of the state in the political theory through the... Because the first chapter is only theory. So nothing to say, but our contribution coming afterwards, okay? So this is only theory. If you can read also, you can understand that. Liberalism developed as a distinctive from ideology that act, accepted the state only so far it could be justified by a rational discourse appealing to the universal standard of human nature and justice. Liberal thought supported the rule of the law. That is, whatever law is existing, you have to. You are not supposed to violate the rules. Okay, we should protect the punishment as the violation of rules. Punishment in India is somewhat liberal, but in other countries it is very, 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 uh, you know, dangerous actually. You no, know? like Saudi Arabia and many other countries. Okay, so. 
like the liberal new liberal and new right philosophy everything is mentioned here and uh, believed in great happiness of the great number of people they each and every country greatness always you know the happiness of the people that really count how people are uh, happy or people are having poverty they are really right you know when people are so happy they are comfortable they are you know have they can earn money and fund you know comfort you know what were there you know cost of living is also less climatic condition everything and stability of the government is very very essential stability of the government is very very essential that is the primary thing which you have to keep in mind every country can progress provide stability is there you can see america such a powerful country in the world one week one or two week back what really happened in america you see our new president was unable to take the oath that type of problem created there so stability of the government is very very essential for you know uh, otherwise it will be uh, very difficult you can see well, i am telling one example because you know it will make uh, more easy to you and to understand the thing iraq when uh, under bush uh, you know war took place and afterward there was nobody and total anarchy was there. everybody saddam hussein was killed and nobody was there to take care of any citizen and you know people were killing each other how many things you know total uh, there was no stability nothing no problem lot of problems were there lot of problems were there same way now other country parasi many other countries sudan gidan all these three countries are also having even myanmar just near to india is also having similar problems stability of the government the state is a prerequisite that is saying we are fortunate i am telling you india is fortunate to have the stability because please remember one thing the first prime minister of india ruled when he was the prime minister for 17 years pandit jawala nehru the next prime minister of course uh, our lal bahadur shastri was there but he was afterwards you know he was killed I mean, uh, an accident, whatever is there in Russia or whatever is there. Now, afterwards, Indira Gandhi was uh, the Prime Minister for 14 years. Manmohan Singh, 10 years. Again, Modi ji, 6 or 7, whatever is there. But stability is there, no? There was no anarchy. There, nobody can say that there is no Prime Minister of India. Okay. So that is the thing. But can decision taking power. Power, but it is not there in Pakistan, please remember. Any decision Prime Minister has to consult the army chief there. See the difference. Here, army is separate, navy is separate, and air force is separate. And I will tell you about the complexity of uh, India. You see, there is armed chief of armed forces. That is a speciality of India. See, the uh, you know, general thing I am just telling you, because other things you can read it. See, there is army chief, there is navy chief, there is air force chief. Then chief of uh, one another uh, DP Rawat is there for controlling all these people. Then there is a uh, supreme commander of armed forces, our uh, president of India. But remember, though he is the supreme commander of armed forces, president of India cannot take any decision without the consulting the council of ministers added by the prime minister of india it is a chain of command collective responsibility nobody can uh, take uh, any 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 what is that you know frequently army chief uh, can meet uh, president of india not like that see each you know power you know whoever is having the power is restricted Okay, uh, the same way uh, BP Rawat is controlling all the three chief, uh, what that, uh, the, uh, chief of uh, defense staff. Doesn't mean that he can uh, order he can war against China or Pakistan. No. The Council of Ministries, approval is required, headed by the Prime Minister. Then it will go to President of India. So, three wars in India were there Pakistan, China war in 1962, Pakistan war, 71, Pakistan and uh, East Pakistan, West Pakistan, you know, 
everything is done like this only that is the beauty of indian democracy one more thing which i want to tell you which uh, other country cannot because we uh, you should know the speciality of india is it that, that that peculiar that you know quality of uh, uh, indian constitution see when we got independence that is uh, because you know those who are civil servant it will uh, as parent this will help you you should know what it is these are all additional information i am giving other than from the book see when got independent so what happened the there was a dispute that uh, our uh, again one more good thing which i am uh, information which i am going to give you is that our president's tenure is only 5 year only one president is there in india who was a president for 10 years that is dr rajendra prasad and you will be surprised that he was nominated for the third time also he is a dynamic figure and participated in the freedom struggle eminent personality from bihar third time also he was nominated but unfortunately he refused because of his ill health okay but please remember he was nominated third time as the president of india after the till today nobody occupied more than 5 year in india as president of india number 2 see when nehru was the rajendra prasad was the both are dynamic personality statesman you know we have nehru also throughout the world he was knowing uh, he was a statesman and uh, definitely uh, rajendra prasad was also a dynamic leader so after independent immediately after independence there was a doubt that who is superior whether president of india or prime minister like that you know there was a dispute uh, president told i am the superior i am the nominal head what were head prime minister telling i am the real head headed by the council of ministers like that you know but because that is called statesmanship educated person from oxford our nehru he told no problem okay you are having power these are the thing there should not be any dispute so like that like that like that what are you are seeing now nehru and uh, that we are following that okay that is you are the head you can do that no problem at all we will do like this that same customary thing now we are doing that is the dynamism because uh, prime minister i am the super person and the president was telling i am the head of the country but even though because so that is called statement should nothing to worry no controversy you are the head but still we are for it this type of things you should understand that this type of things you know you cannot see other other countries they agree okay okay they will uh, each other they will fight for uh, you know power uh, this thing you know in india it is not like that okay now this is other okay that the happiness of the people also i told you adam smith again okay uh, strong liberal liberal authority of advocating lazy forest administration the thing is the only theory modern plurally some of the advocate that intermediate institution such as church huh. there is a religious uh, this thing also church also in like uh, you know vatican and many other this thing you know that type of countries also the, which is the smallest country in the world the plural, pluralistic theory very many people are many types of many culture and, uh, uh, and that type of people are also the neo corporate is claims all private firms to be disciplined uh, of a national plan these are all old stories actually previously capitalist neo corporate theory recognize the significance of the cleavage between capital labor and group that uh, thing uh, you know previously it was there actually then next coming marxist perspective marxist the karl marx and the theory about which we will read more than you know here point out that the government is the executive committee of the ruling class and always served the economic interest of the class our marxist philosophy not the way which you are seeing nowadays okay now people are there to earn money that is not 
the real marxist theory i know but don't think you know i am just uh, opposing or uh, supporting or opposing no whatever is going on today even morning as i uh, you see tv i don't want to make my from my mouth what the is either i have told about the present government and i don't want to say anything from my mouth okay see and uh, people they are struggling to get the power to get the money how to accumulate wealth that is not market theory people have gone you know away from that uh, uh, theory whatever predicted by karl marx i don't want to tell more than that you see okay and uh, about which we will read uh, more and the main thing marxist perspective is economic interest of the middle class people see their interest of the working class minimum salary injustice should not be done and you know their working labor should get a proper salary equality should be there that type of things he predicted okay then from capitalists they should you know they want to award a capital people should rule the country or you know like that you know uh, the people who are they should share the administration and who are working working class should get the maximum benefit that is the theory of marxism marxism conceives of the state of an extension of civil society reinforcing the social order of the and and when the particular interest of capital society the democracy the democracy can only be established with the destruction of social class and ultimately abolition of the state itself marxist philosophy now of course in only few countries it is there now like uh, many few countries are there in the world okay and uh, in india of course only marxist government is existing in uh, kerala only previously west bengal was there now it has gone it is like that so they got their own philosophy so we are not uh, telling they are also good, doing good thing for the working class landless people they are doing doing good th- good thing okay so this apra puts the form of state uh, okay this is nothing nothing to say more here neo liberal policy i already told you market oriented so normative state new right conservation based on inability government to make better man or equal but uh, you see one more thing i which i want to tell you so the constitution of india there are direct principle given to the state that is uh, the the sole state of affairs in india is that richer people become more richer poor people remain poor that should not be there there should be equality money should be distributed among the needy uh, other people that is the duty of the state government that is for the directive principle in india money is complete money is only with uh, uh, less than 20 people less than 20 people i don't want to tell who are they okay money but that is not the thing and here also still situation is not improved at all uh, poor remain poor only now i I, uh, i am telling you yesterday i saw that uh, kerala government notification that at the party they are going to make uh, one taluk what is the use for what purpose there is not even a private or hospital is there there is no doctor he there is doctor there is no medicine he medical doctor is there med- medicine is there there is no bed nothing is there no transport facility is there by making talu no use at all basic amenities infrastructure facilities awareness to the tribal people should be there not only that very poor condition pregnant ladies you know they are unable to cross the bhavani river to uh, come to a dispensary something like that there is no bridge above bhavani river like that you know so many things are there the basic uh, infrastructure facility should be there rather than making the uh, what is the taluk or whatever is there it is there so what i am telling situation has not considerably improved even in kerala take the example nilambur wayanad attapadi everything 
still where they were, they are there. They are not coming out of the cave. They are not going to school. Many people. Okay. Situation has to be improved. So, directive principle like for the constitution of India is distribution of wealth among the needy. That land is to be distributed. Okay, money is to be distributed. That nobody can touch people, but nobody is bothered about that. You know very well. I don't want to make comment. Okay. Public choice theorists have recommended minimizing the role of the state and setting limit to the discretionary power of the politician. So we should control the political political interference also. The society discretionary power is there. For, I think what is the power of politician? See MLA. MLA from his fund, he is constructing roads and bridges and he is putting his name. It is not his money, you know. That is taxpayer money. How can he put uh, that is made by so and so, bridge is made by so and so? It is taxpayer money, actually, you know. One crore or whatever is there, three crore, whatever is there, you know. We are government of Kerala or government of India is giving the money to them. So, politician is having a lot of you know, powers. They should be taken away. I am telling why. See, distribution of what is that uh, LPG, uh, the connection, you know, the, each MP is having certain uh, quota. Like that, the telephone connection. Like that, many other and they only here, their own people will get this type of things, you know. That way, we have to take care of that, you know, equality should be there. And uh, poor people should also, they have got right to live in this beautiful country. And uh, politicians should not, uh, uh, yeah, politicians can play their role. Politicians are wicked, eh? but you should not uh, forget that because they are a democratic country, but they should see irrespective of any state, any party. They should come, uh, you know, above the party level. They should serve the citizen of the country. Okay, reducing public monopolies and curtailing and functions in government. Uh, see, he, they will just, you know, official functions and other things. And uh, they will, what normally mayor as well as ministers and MLAs are doing, you know, cutting ribbon and other things. That is not, not there. Okay, this is one of the functions only, but they are having plenty of other things to do. But sometimes they are not doing that. The ideology of new neoliberalism, market oriented. Uh, Things uh, you know, we have to do that. We have to set up industries, and we have to provide employment, and whatever uh, others are, uh, you, know, you, know, you know, then demanding from us. We have to whether it is rubber, whether it is leather, whether it is coir, coir or you know, this fish or whatever is there, processed whatever is there, food processed items or whatever is there. We have to vehicles and many other things. You know, we have to produce, produce, and globally we have to supply. Okay, that is the other thing which I want to tell you then high quality service to the citizens value each people are should be recognized that they are the bona fide residents of the country we should respect each and every citizens okay this we have to respect them their contribution whatever contribution they are rendering and they should be respected not that in the, they should be given award only which you uh, he is having affiliation to some party or something no Outstanding personality should be recognized. Next, high quality standard of service. Yes, high quality standard of service has to be ensured. Okay, when government of India or state government, when they uh, do some uh, service to the people, high quality should be there. Whether it is telecommunication, high quality, uninterrupted power supply, uninterrupted net service, and you know, so many things. Now, one year old. Our online classes are going, and yesterday our chief minister was distributing laptop to school, school centers. One year back, even COVID, one year already over. Now yesterday he was celebrating with a lot of advertisement and distributing uh, in a cheap publicity laptop and other things. See, there are certain rural area in the country where there is no power connection. Electricity is not there. When with the laptop, what they are going to do? In my, you know, my own village, from where I am coming, people were telling that uh, online class, how to attend, there is no power electricity. 20 years back, uh, 20, 40, 30 years or 40 years back, uh, more transformer is there and now a lot of connection, has, uh, you know, they have given a lot of connection in electricity board, but transformer 
has not changed. There is no uninterrupted power supply or whatever is there. Only one hour or one and a half hour power is getting. So what they are going to do with this laptop? Please remember. It is okay. In cities like uh, Kochi or many other places, it is okay. But if you go to Tribal Belt and Lidiki and many other places, why not? And what are you going to do with the laptop actually? And do you think that uh, uninterrupted uh, network, uh, this thing is there? Go, go and see. And uh, because I know very well, in my place, there is no uh, uh, network. And that's why uh, people are going to girls and boys are not attending, attending any online class. This is for a kind of information. Yesterday, I saw one big uh, this thing advertisement that uh, Chief Minister and some so many other politicians were supplying laptop and Mahamela. Okay. Whenever we do, we should do, we should do excellent service to the citizens, not a cheap publicity. We have to serve the people, irrespective of any political party. Uh, whether he belongs to so and so, that is not the question. We have got responsibility we are elected to serve the people not a party so whenever they make policy they have to they should have a vision they should execute before here what happened the promises are made but never fulfilled that is the thing which uh, sometimes that should not be there here standard of service rigorous performance management is required in a state rigorous performance management here i i can tell you ksrt every md is telling every minister is telling we will do that we will do this we will do this every month they are taking loan and uh, paying the salary you know any rigorous steps they taking why they are not taking you know very well i know very well because militant trade union which are harmful for the organization to survive managing director is unable to take any decision and trade union leaders are prohibiting, restricting. So this type of things are required. So here, political interference should be limited. Complete, it is required for the growth of the state, growth of the country. Politics are required, but it should not create any hindrance for the development. Now, one more thing which I want to tell you, I am also, uh, you know, outside Kerala, I was uh, there many throughout my career. And, uh, here, yeah, one bus only three persons in Karnataka, and uh, Haryana only one or two driver and conductor. And here, one bus is only 13, 14 people or something is there in KSRTC. So, pension is there, everything. No state government is giving pension to KSR, uh, state transport employees. Here, we are being paid. Thus, we have become the Salaried and pension pension people have crossed some reach 90 or 95 percent. Where is the revenue then for the development? All money which the government of Kerala is getting for payment of salary to the workers as well as pensioners. So what are you going to do for the development actually? So we first can rigorous management. Uh, you know this thing is managerial. The control should be there and performance management and uh, uh, transfer or increment or promotion should be done based on the performance done by the people. It should be evaluated whether it is collector, whether it is Tasildar or whoever it is, irrespective of any political party, rigorous performance management is required. Then managerial support services, yes, we have to provide support services. Then competition we have to see and a lot of competition is take, taking place and we have to uh, overcome those competitions actually. See, for example, even the transport. Heavy competition is there from Bangalore to suppose Kerala to Bangalore. Lot of bus services there, Karnataka bus services there, Tamil Nadu bus services there. Competition exists, the rate should has to be reduced, quality has to be improved, everything is there, the competition. Uh, everywhere the uh, you know competitive spirit that should be there, then uh, uh, like that, you know, where service should be improved, then only customer will be there. Same way it is applicable in air service also. Okay. So this is okay. Now, Marx ideology, something is there. Now, what is the other thing? Uh, third world, nothing is there here. Aristocrat. Okay. Form studies in corporate, neo market theory, public choice and the public sector. Uh, public sector economy. Here. Yeah. What is public sector economy? 
India, whatever the banks, whatever the public sector companies, some state government is having its own. Uh, they, they are paying, they are, uh, you know, earning money and they play a vital role for the GDP, everything. We are having more than 310 public sector undertaking in India. State government, state, every state, state government undertakings are there. They are also playing a vital role for the economic development of the country or the state. Okay, that is also the pin. Then, new right criticism in the state and political influence. You know, I elaborate this thing in the politics, criticism, everything in there. Politics should be there, but uh, it should be there. It, it is required for the democracy uh, because, you know, to point out the mistakes, if any, criticism should be taken in the positive way. It is it should not be taken in the personal way. Criticism without criticism, a person will commit a mistake. Now, I just want to tell you one thing more. Criticism, which is, you know, in your, when you are a personal manager also, when you are a, you know, grand, uh, you know, uh, what is that, uh, whichever position you are handling. Positive criticism should be there. Otherwise, you will commit mistake. Now, I am just telling you one example. Here, our, uh, I am not uh, blaming our uh, chief minister or prime minister or anything. I am showing one example. If you can understand, you understand. Otherwise, reject it. When Prime Minister of India Nehru was there, you shouldn't ask me why I have pointed to Nehru. Who are a done good thing we have to appreciate. I am not telling that we should not appreciate the present the Prime Minister or Chief Minister. No, I am not telling you that. But who are a done good thing we should tell that whatever is good, you should say good. Whatever is bad, we should say bad. Now tell me, I am telling you one good thing. It is an eye opener to the present people. What? Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, when he was the Prime Minister of India, most powerful person, busiest person in the world. Okay? Now, when he was the Prime Minister of India, nobody was having guts to question him. Because highly qualified, rich person, studied in Oxford, and like that, and participated in freedom struggle, Chairman of uh, uh, that Constitution Committee, many uh, like that. He was the Prime Minister. But what happened? When the election was held, only Congress uh, and that party got majority. Opposition was not good. Very few people. Very few people, like you know, BJP was having two. But afterwards, afterwards, only two. Afterwards, not uh, uh, independence. After many years, you know, only Atal Bihari was the only one who was there. Now, I'm this talking about uh, 47, 48, 49, uh, 50, 51, 52, 53, like that. When Prime Minister, Nira, uh, sorry, Nehru was there, there was a person called Acharya Kribalani. It is there in my book. When I studied uh, my postgraduate uh, diploma in personal management and other things, and when I just prepared project work, I have mentioned this MC Chaglas, former education minister's writing. One book was published about this, what I'm going to say to you. From there, I quoted in my project work. See, this is this happened decades ago. See, when Nehru was there, opposition was not there initially. Afterward, Acharya Kribalani was opposing Nehru and criticizing Nehru, criticizing Nehru principles and other things, many things, criticizing. But patiently he listened to that and he was giving the reply. But in mind, he was giving sort of respect to Ajayi Kribalani, who was criticizing very, you know, very much Nehru. But Nehru kept everything in his mind and he loved it. Remember, out of five years, Election declared. After five years, election declared. Parliament election. Parliament election when it was declared. Parliament election when it was declared. I Acharya Krabani uh, uh, contested from Uttar Pradesh. Nehru from Lucknow. Okay. So uh, he just asked. Ajayi from, from where he is contesting. 
So, Uttar Pradesh is some area. And the Prime Minister ensured, Nehru ensured, the weakest person opposite Acharya Krabarani. Weakest Congress member against Acharya Krabarani. He didn't tell anything about the secrecy. Then finally he told that somebody asked, then he told, I want Acharya Krabarani in the parliament who can criticize me. Otherwise, I will commit mistake. So, criticism should be taken in the constructive way, positive way. Criticism may sometimes help you not to do the wrong thing. Okay. So, uh, that should be taken. We should give respect also. Who is criticizing also? Criticizing not individually, you know. Personally, he is not criticizing about his policies, you know. So, why should we criticize individually? Now, one more thing I am just telling you. How the earlier politicians and the present politicians. When one day, Jammu Kashmir, he was the Prime Minister Nehru was traveling in Jammu Kashmir. And he was two, three days, you know, he was unable to travel anywhere else except Jammu Kashmir due to some other meetings and other things, very important meetings. At that time, he got a news from Delhi that Acharya, Acharya Kriblani was hospitalized in Ramanohar Lohia Hospital in Delhi. Immediately, what he did, he sent a messenger by Srinagar airport, you know, by air, with uh, one basket, and uh, he gave a message, hand over this basket, to get down in uh, Delhi airport, and straight away you go to Ramanohar Lohia Hospital, room number so-and-so, floor number so-and-so. And that person reached uh, Delhi airport and directly went to uh, Ramano Horloya hospital and uh, went to that room uh, floor and handed over the basket packet. The man who was carrying was not knowing what it is that matter. But that gentleman, Acharya Kribani, when he opened, he saw a basket of apples, Kashmiri apples, with a small tag in that from an old friend to a best friend from an old friend to a best friend see the man who was criticizing him in the parliament so after hearing that whatever disease he was having everything is over he became healthy that type of things were there that type of and that a very positive approach should be there for by the politicians as well okay this is the thing now State road is a because state has to function by adopting many many good policies. Each country, each country. Okay, according to the common theory, the need that optimize public aware of self interest. It comprises attempts to resolve conflict, manage, and not only that, each country has to will have a lot of problems. India is having a lot of problem. Poverty is there, education problem is there, and um, you know population problem is there. So there should be. We have to resolve it. The conflict will be there, and uh, we have to bargain with various groups also that everything is there available in here. Okay. Now, another aspect which I want to tell you that uh, globalization, I already told you because, you know, especially when Mohan Singh was the finance minister and uh, P.V. Narasama was the prime minister of India. And at that time, the uh, 1991, you know, globalization, liberalization took place. And a lot of change has taken place afterwards. And uh, now whatever we see today, we can import, yeah. export or whatever is there. It has become very easy. WTO, everything, you know, the uh, world has become very, you know, smart. And India is also capable of exporting anything. So uh, <clears throat> today we had discussed about the different types of states in old world and how it is functioning politically, religiously, and the autocratic way, you know, the kingdom and many other things, you know, and bureaucrat, everything, you know, very, and uh, Mong, everything, you know, Sri, Sri Lanka, everything, you know, so many people are also part of it in a religious way, the Lai Lama, many other things, Tibet, everything. So, each state is different. It is a difficult concept, and, um, okay, then each uh, state is having its own past history, and, okay, from that now they have whatever you see today 
behind that lot of stories there either they were british colony or they were controlled by america or russia or whatever is there now they have become independent sovereign country and uh, india is also a sovereign country okay we are not a uh, non aligned aligned country we are not uh, having any alliance with the ussr russia you are not having any uh, the tie up with the uh, usa we are independent sovereign country okay and uh, uh, okay where there are lot of anarchy in the world uh, like uh, somalia sudan uh, nigeria many other places policy but in the super and behavioralism and uh, you know uh, we don't have any likes or dislikes we respect each country properly we are we have got ambassadors all over the world and there is a difference between ambassador and uh, high commissioner high commissioner is appointed on common wealth countries previously who were under common wealth like pakistan sri lanka nepal uh, uk everywhere only uh, this type of people are there other countries ambassadors are there common wealth countries uh, only this type of uh, people are there but that is uh, you know uh, previously under uh, british colony you know like pakistan nepal and other uh, other countries Uh, our uh, uh, this thing is ambassadors are there. Okay, each country has got its own ideology and history. Each country is having, and India is also for the last several several centuries. You know, India is making a lot of progress, and we have got our own poly- philosophy. And uh, you know, uh, together we work, and all our uh, you know our own uh, great Indians. Actually, we believe in certain. We have got our own culture, and not only that, other beauty of. india is that uh, wherever whichever uh, you know we are all working in uh, uh, what is that uh, uh, this thing it also so uh, we have to adapt certain technology modern technology then culture people are coming from different different states each state is having different culture so all cultures we have we have to accept this indian culture and we should not say that our culture culture is supreme their culture is not good no every culture in india every you know religion everybody is uh, you know superior and not don't think that our we are superior no all are equal it has got it is included in the constitution everything is there there is a fundamental right there is a fundamental duty also freedom of uh, speech is also the these are the peculiar this thing you know uh, uh, essential uh, quality of uh, indian state 